Hello everyone, I am Sir Gypsy Corpus from Campino National High School, your teacher presenter for Teletoroan. Your parents have probably cautioned you about the use of electrical devices even before you reached school age. You were told not to touch electrical outlets or insert anything into it. You were told not to touch any electrical wires in the house. Well, they may not have explained it to you back then, but they have valid reasons. Firemen advise homeowners to check the electrical connections in their homes, especially the condition of the wires. They advise homeowners to replace exposed electrical wires. Why is there a need to cover exposed wires? Why bother about electrical safety? 1. Over thousands of people went to hospital emergency rooms to be treated for electrical shocks and burns. Hundreds of workers die every year from electrical shock. The amount of current to power a 5-watt light bulb is enough to kill 3 people. Okay, let us recall the following. Voltage is the pressure or force that carries the current. Current is the amount of electricity that flows and resistance slows down the flow of electricity. Metals are good conductors of current having low resistance. Rubber, ceramics, and wood are poor conductors of current with very high resistance. Materials with high resistance are often called insulators. The human body can be a very good conductor or a very poor conductor. Let us start our discussion with factors affecting the conductivity of the human body. Condition of the skin. Is it wet, dry, or greasy? The health of the individual the duration of contact with electricity, and the part of the body contacted. Now let's move on with the discussion of different electrical hazards. Electrical hazards include burns, electrocution, shock, arc flash or arc blast, fire, and explosions. Burns are the most common shock-related injury. There are three types of electrical burns. One is electrical, two is arc flash, and then three is thermal contact. Electrocution is fatal, meaning to kill with electrical shock. Results when a human is exposed to a little amount of electrical energy. Shock, when body becomes part of an electric circuit. It reflects response to passage of electric current through the body. An arc flash happens when a sudden release of electrical energy through air when high voltage gap exists and there is a breakdown between conductors. It gives up thermal radiation and bright intense light that can cause burns and temperatures as high as 35,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Arc flash, on the other hand, is when high voltage arcs can also produce Considerate pressure by rapidly heating the air and creating a blast. Fire. Most result from problems with fixed wiring. Problems with cords, plugs, receptacles, and switches also cause electrical fires. One of the causes of fire is capacity issue or the overloaded electrical outlets, better known as octopus wiring. In designing electrical insulations, engineers estimate the current requirements of appliances and electrical devices the owner intends to use and makes this as the basis for selecting the appropriate size of wire in wiring the house. When there are too many appliances plugged into one outlet, also called octopus wiring, the loads are effectively connected in parallel and overloading may also occur. Explosions. It occur when e electricity ignites explosive mixture of material in the air. Explosion also occurs when too many devices plug into circuit. Wires heat to very high temperature, possible fire or when wire insulation melts, it cause arcing, fire in the area may overload and exist even inside a wall. A circuit breaker is an automatically operated electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit. 
from damage caused by excess current from an overload or short circuit. Its basic fun function is to interrupt current flow after a fault is detected. Unlike a fuse, which operates once and then must be replaced, a circuit breaker can be reset either manually or automatically to resume normal operation. Now, here are some electrical safety that you should remember. Handheld electrical tools pose a potential danger because they make continuous contact with the hand. To protect you from shock, burns, and electrocution, tools must have three wire cord with ground and be plugged into a grounded receptacle or be double insulated or be powered by a low voltage isolation transformer. Junction boxes, pool boxes, and fittings must have approved covers. Unused openings in cabinets, boxes, and fittings must be closed, no missing knockouts. Photo shows violations of these two requirements. Uncoil an extension cord fully before use. Be sure that the amperage of the cord is appropriate for the job you are doing. Do not use equipment that delivers mild electrical shocks, gives off unusual heat, or smells odd. If in doubt, have it checked and repaired or replaced. Extension cords shall not be fastened with staples, hang from nails, or suspended by wire. Examples The following are considered hazards or electrical hazards. Inadequate wiring, exposed electrical parts, wires with bad insulation, ungrounded electrical tools or systems, overloaded circuits, damaged power tools and equipment, and overhead power lines. All hazards are made worse by wet hands. To summarize everything we have discussed, you must remember that all electrical injuries are potentially severe and should be seen by a physician. Most electrical injuries around the home are preventable. Always use proper care when using electrical appliances. Even low voltage electricity can cause injury. Your body can be a good conductor of electricity, especially when wet. Follow the ground rules of electricity and do not use defective equipment. A short circuit happens when the circuit offers little or no resistance to the flow of charges. This results in a large amount of current in the circuit. When the current in the circuit exceeds, the wire's current rating, overload of the circuit occurs. Thank you for your active participation. I hope that you learned a lot. This has been Sir Gypsy Corpus of Camp Pino National High School. See you again next time. Goodbye.